Good morning, folks. Checking out the lot where they have the track and everything. Just seeing, uh, doesn't look like that much track is left, but from what I can gather, at least about a third of the ride is already installed. But uh, we got a whole bunch of pieces of track there. We got some support beams over there. We got some more supports over there. And some more track over there. And we got a guy over there looking at me, watching and waiting to see if I'm going to go inside. But I'm not passing this point, guys. <laughs> so, yeah. And from what I've seen in the past couple of weeks, there has been a lot and I mean a lot of progress on Phoenix Rising. So we're going to have to go take a look and see. Forecast for today is a light breeze. So hopefully we will get a chance to get on the sky ride and check it out up close. Maybe Falcon's Fury too. They're sounding alarm to clear the lift, but they can't clear the lift when there's a roller coaster on the lift. I'm always getting ready to test Montu. I was told I don't put enough ride videos in my videos, so well, we're gonna take a little bit of a different take. We're gonna take a view of behind us the whole entire time. I hope we spin. Yep, something like that. Oh, 
my pin. <laughs> We just escaped the Cobra's curse. So now that's where we've been. That's a where we've been view. Always good.
And that was where we've been on Cheetah Hunt. to the lift hill, they topped off the lift hill, came down, did this little thing right over here, where it looks like you're going to hit the sky ride, and then it's going down and then back up, and just as I thought, it's going to go underneath the lift hill, cross over to get back over to the other side on the access road. sandals and flip-flops. <laughs> Progress on that Phoenix Rising there. Oh, I'm, I, I love it. I get to watch it every time I'm here, watch it build up. It, it looks like it's going to be a decent family coaster. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, real quick. Hi, Loretta. Loretta. <laughs> All right, back to Phoenix Rising. Yeah, they're right above the access road. Look at that.
Now, I don't know if you guys heard my predictions or not, but they do say spring of 2024. I say about maybe June 20th, which at least they can claim still spring. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Pretty good. Oh yeah. Awesome. station.
So that was the sky ride view of Phoenix Rising. We're soon coming back into the station. So we might catch this train of Cheetah Hunt as it's coming over us. Maybe not. people down below. No. Let's see if the girls are still out or did the girls go in? No, nope, the girls are still out. Hi Debbie. Hi Keita. Oh, and the ringtail mercats. Look at that. I was mistaken before on the sky ride. These are ringtail lemurs. And there goes Fizz. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that little one is Fizz. Baskets. We got Fizz, Spike, Ginger. Kita and Debbie went into the water, so let's go check them out. Well, you got Kita the, and Debbie over there. Going in the water and in the, so. Looks like they just went in the water just to cool down a little bit. But can't see them underneath the water yet. Yeah. <laughs> no, can't really see him unless that's one of them right there. That's a long beer. No, that's one of them right there. Oh. <laughs> but I can't tell. Got the Nyalas hiding back there. And the gazelles over here. Not necessarily a roller coaster. And even if we had the where we've been, we're just gonna go back that way anyway. So, yeah. Yeah, see? 
this is a swing so even if we go that way we're gonna go back that way anyway so we're just gonna take a look at us She's singing to a beat of a different drummer. I guess we all can be weird at times. with one of our elephants here. Get her wet. What's her name? This is Rosie. This is Rose, okay. We gonna dance, Rose? <laughs> it's been a hot minute. Well, two weeks since we've done our last uh, Phoenix Rising update and in those past two weeks wow the progress so let's get a bird's eye view shall we So, when we were last here, we had the lift hill complete, but now we got the drop, we got everything over on the other side, and we already came over the access road, and we're about ready to come back. We got a big tree in the way. Station looks like it's coming along. Still have yet to figure out what this little half quarter circle is and then probably spin around it Yeah. You guys go you guys go in your back, don't you? 
not her. And all you junkies out there, that is a Phoenix Rising update. I don't know how much over the wall I need to do, but we're going to go ahead and go over the wall anyway, right? So we'll start off over here. Quite a bit done over here. Lift hill. Station. Here we go with where we've been. Point of view. Stand by one. Five on clear. Dispatch. Hey, James. new signage please stand behind the white line the gates are now closing Por favor, atrás and de la línea now for Las the sheep road where we've been point. view it's a where we've been view scanning platform platform clear dispatch <laughs> <laughs> nope, too late. Let's talk about this. No, no, no talking about it.
didn't want to stay right there and it flipped over. Ha <laughs> ha. Lots of fun. We'll see how that turns out. Ding, ding. It looks like they cleared up some of this area over here. Once again, please keep your hands out of the train. Everyone should remain safely seated. Leave the station with Oregon and it's cheap for our first time. Coast Rapid built in the U.S. Takes you up 200 feet in the air, hangs you over the edge. Sudden drops you at 70 miles per hour straight down. Not the tallest, fastest, or steepest dive coach, but we have another one. You can see just the top of it, way over on the right hand side. It's called Iron Gwazi. It's a high grade coaster, part wood, part steel. Iron Gwazi takes you up 206 feet in the air. Drops you at 76 miles per hour, and a 91 in the angle. It travels at 55 miles per hour. Right in the middle of the Scorpion coaster, a 360 degree horizontal loop. Right at the Scorpion, right at five wheel. Nice place to get to get a drink full of light to eat. Pay a token, that's where you find our carousel. Some feeds of chance. And that tall tower right here inside, Falcon's Fury. Falcon's Fury takes you all the way feet in the air. Up and then over here we have Scorpion. Hi! Hey! 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 Pass holders. Not pass holders, there is a $5 charge. 
And off to the right hand side. This is a big swing set. It's in the back to the Serenity Flyer. Serenity Flyer. And we have some workers cleaning up. Each swing holds 20 guests at each side. The back. Probably collecting that for the animals. Each height is 135 feet. Speaking of animals. The dogs actually live 65 feet. Oh, we have the green train over there. This particular area, they are grant zebra, small about two zebra species. Beyond that truck, left hand side, the rowdy children and the giraffe. Those giraffes stand 18 feet tall, weigh more than a ton. The small tan animal near the trees out there, those are in power. Jody's hiding. The folks in that truck, they're looking at a white animal, is an Adax antelope. That is an oh, endangered desert animal. And to the right hand side, cheetah hunt. Cheetah Hunt is a launch coaster. At three points along the ride, Cheetah Hunt's going to surge you forward and it speeds up to 60 miles per hour. Moving we'll that three times takes just a few seconds each time. Over 4,400 feet of ride. Longest coaster ride right here at Bush Gardens. The left hand side of the train, you may spot a tan animal with a faint stripe. It's a female night ally. There's the Nihalos. Yeah, I'll just go over there. That high. Hanging out by the fence. Nice and of course, let's go through these turns, especially on the right hand side. This is the front side of the Serendipity Flyers. To the left of that would be our region out there, our region over there, about 15,000 pounds. And then there's going to be a yellow building coming up. The yellow building is the fair center. And the fair center where most of our animals receive their medical attention. Eighty minute wait for the Serengeti Flyer. Holy cow! Eighty minutes. And of course, we're now coming into the Nairobi train station. Nairobi is the closest station to the park entrance. Close station for anyone trying to get a mod to. When the Serengeti Flyer has an 80 minute wait time, you definitely know it's crowded. Avoid spring break, people. Just avoid it. Miami Reserve for the Chips, Morocco Palace, Toronto Ice Show. Close to the station restroom. And the candy canteen. My name is Bob Cooper. Hey, hope you enjoy it. Don't get back over to the Hey! What? Stop. There's all the people over there, all the, the tour guides. The station. If you're going to be exiting, please make sure you do remain seated. The exits will be to the station side platform. You'll be exiting. She does look tired. Falling asleep there. Yep, just about ready to go to sleep. 
Ski. And we got the other ones back there. We got Bubba and Jimmy and one of the girls. And one of the girls is left all alone back here. Yeah. With that, we're going to say goodbye for you guys for now. And uh, we'll catch you the next time at the theme parks.